Right, uh, we are recording. I'm recording on my digital camera again to see if this will help. And basically, because my um, webcam is being a little bit of a piss off on my laptop, so basically, I've decided to um, see if I can basically um, go back to my um, digital camera. And it's actually going to be the first vlog I've done for 2012. Um, I do try and do as many vlogs as I possibly can so I can get them uploaded onto here, but um, it's the way in which I am. Uh, some people actually do watch my videos, I'm quite happy about that, you know, there's a few people out there who actually do like my videos, and I'm quite um, blessed by that, and that's something I'm going to keep doing for 2012, hopefully, um, as I keep uploading them and people keep watching them, it spares me on to do more, and if they have any ideas, I do actually say you can give me them, and they can basically um, ask me to do them, I, although I will do them on the, on the, on the side that if I know a little bit about them and I feel like doing them because sometimes there are subjects I just don't want to talk about and you can't make me talk about them because if I don't like them, I don't want to do them. But certainly um, there are also things that basically if I was to really give my my view on many, many things, I mean, I mean, I could be very, very harsh and that would be no good if you were watching my videos. There's a few people that I'm a little bit, um, you know, sometimes I just feel you know, it gets to me, certain things, and if I was to air them out on here, uh-oh, it'd be like, -da 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 -da. so I, I, I just basically keep that to myself, and you don't know about it, so that's something we don't need to discuss any furthermore. But, uh, one thing that I'll, I, I'm going to, I'm going to basically define it is, um, the name Corey. It's not a name I'm familiar with when it comes to girls and things like that, and I think sometimes it, it's down to um, the location, I think um, the majority of them being in America, and I'm sure you probably find more people in America that are girls called Corey, as you would do basically in England, and it spurred me on because I've actually been, yes, I, I, I say this a lot, but I think it was a, I think it was a good one as well, I, you know, that um, I've been on YouTube and as I do I go browsing YouTube and sometimes I'll come across basically a video and I'll watch it and I think to myself, hmm, it's an interesting video. But it's not just a video, I want to message that person and basically um it's it being friends, it's becoming a friend and this is somebody who um basically I have um managed to um speak to her a little bit. Um basically her name is Corey and um it's interesting because she said that she basically thought she well well was she she was saying things and basically she, she never expected that she would have more similarities to me than she thought. And I'm, and I'm thinking, well, that's an interesting thing because it's good, but you can have similarities. I'm not saying that when you know somebody or you're friends with somebody or you get close to somebody, there's never a case that you have to always have the same, the same interests. I mean, that, that's the point, you know, some, similar, some similarities, yes, but not everything has to be always about about that, so, um, it's always that way in which you basically, um, build up what you're basically building up when you know somebody. It's not a case of saying, oh, right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, so, that was an interesting, um, thing, and I think she's a great person, I, I really do, and I do like speaking to her, and it's the same as, as many people, I, you know, I basically am, as people would know, a great friend, so they know that if they want to speak to somebody, they can come to me and basically I could be here for whatever time, amount of time, you know, speaking to them. So yeah, it was a very, it was a very interesting insight to, um, that, but 2012, I basically want to finish off with basically what this, um, year is going to be for me. I don't think it's going to be much as what it was last year. I, I, I think sometimes we say that we want, um, things to happen in certain, in, in, in a certain uh, time, and maybe they do, maybe they don't. I know this year that I'm going on my holiday, it's going to be my first one in a few years, I'm going off to Florida, so I'm sure I'll be uh, reporting back from that quite, you know, well when I get there, maybe I might even be on my holiday, I might even actually do a report while I'm on the island, I don't know yet, but certainly I'm going to go there for two weeks, and that's going to be, um, hopefully a good time for me. But one thing that I would like to hopefully get out of to 2012 
and certainly this year, is a job. I know a lot of people will, will, will basically probably watch and say, you haven't got one, you know, they're, they're always telling me about, you know, some people get on my back about it, and I really do hate it, and I think they should really just leave me. Me, me and myself, I'm quite capable of applying for jobs, I'm quite capable of getting myself a job. I don't need um, too many people to keep telling me about things and this and that. You know, I do get help from various people that I have to go and see, basically, and they do whatever they can to try and get me into work. And it really is as simple as that. I, I just want people to say, look, I, I, I don't want people to be on my back, right? I can, in my own, you know, if a friend does say to me there is a job going and it's, and it's right for me, then I can apply for it. But I always say that I can only go for jobs in certain circumstances, like right? I can't drive, so if you need a driver license, it's no good. It's got to be in the local area. I've got to be able to get there easily. And certainly one of, the, one of the things is experience, because I don't feel you should be doing a job if it's asking for the experience. You've got to have the experience, right? A lot, a lot of things, a lot, somebody, somebody told me, basically, when I went on a course a, 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 a few weeks back, basically that um, you can turn a negative into a positive. If you see a job and it's asking for certain things, experience and that, and you say you don't have it and all that, you can try and turn it into something as a, as a positive, you know, what, why do you think you can go to that job? Even, but it, it's got to be something that you know you would need, obviously, the experience for, if you feel, if you feel you can get the experience, fair enough, but there's a lot of jobs, that, many, many jobs, where they do actually say, you need to have this sort of thing, and, and qualifications, or whatever else, and if it's a job, and it's stating that you need these qualifications, and have you had experience working in this environment for like three years, and you don't have the experience working in that environment for three years, you can't very much, very much go to the job and say, well, I'm willing to work, at that, because they're probably going to say, well, we don't want you to do that, we don't want you, we don't want you to come into this job and have to start from the bottom and work your way up. We want you to be actually in the, you know, we want you to be in the role of having the experience before you come to the job. And so that's always going to be something you've got to, you know, but if it's, if you've just got to look at the things that you feel when you go for a job, you know, can you do it? If it doesn't ask for experience, then that might, you know, or there might be, um, experience preferred, but not essential. That's another good thing you can do because you can always say, "Well, I don't have the experience, but train train me up, and I will do the job." And that's something that I, I do feel. So basically, what I do is I look for my own work. I do generally um, feel that you know, and, and I've never really had. I don't have problems filling in forms. I think um, you know, I don't feel I have problems with the interviews either as I feel that like I can go to it and I do all the best I can. I think it's just the fact that, um, as I say, I do whatever I can to ensure that I'm hoping to get the job if I was going for an interview, basically. As I said before, I don't feel I do too much wrong. I think some people might expect me to basically try hard, or I don't know. But that's what I'm hoping to get out of 2012. And we'll just have to see how it all maps out and, and what happens, but basically there are that. And there's all other little bits and pieces that are going to happen this year, obviously. Um, so, that's going to be great. Um, but yeah. In fact, for a friend, I will actually put the, um, the link, as I normally do, to the YouTube channel page, because that's what I'm good at. I like to do that. I make sure that people know about them, so they can actually, if they want to, they don't have to, but if they want to go, and watch um, them as well. So uh, keep tuned into my videos because I want to have various things that I'm going to be talking about over the um, due course of, of time and things that are going to be coming up into my head. And I'm going to be thinking, yeah, what a great idea for a blog or what a great idea for a video. So stay tuned and uh, bye for now.